me and G Bob are gonna put an ignition switch in his 95 Dodge Dakota, I think it is, with a V6. It's not too bad a shape for the year it is. I've been having to pull the coal, coal, coil wire because the ignition switch has been working. I did one in college, but that was a long time ago. Wasn't too long ago. But we'll get to it. Here's a 95 Dodge Dakota. We're going to put a new ignition switch in it. So you have to take these two covers off here. This one they split. You have to use a long Torx T25 to get up in here. Up in there like that. So we'll commence to taking that off and then we'll bring it back. Okay, I got all the screws out of there now. So now this should just pull apart. I got there's the bottom cover. And the top cover I think can stay on there for now. I'll let you know if it changes. Okay, we got the battery disconnected. We gotta get this top cover off. Slides up there. And you gotta get push the blinker thing down a little bit. You wanna hold that? Out of the way enough. Okay, we gotta put this new piece in right here, this new switch. We got a new one right here. Try to take the screws out, the torques out, the holds that in, and then we'll take the lock cylinder out of it. So stay tuned, folks. Okay, there's three Torx 25s you take out now. I almost got this one out. And that just pulls right out of there. And you got two clips here, can you see that? Right there. Two clips and then you can take that plug in right off of there. Use a little screwdriver if you have to. I think it's coming. Alright, we got that unplugged. Then you gotta unplug this little sensor here, another one of them little clips. And there you go, there's your part. Took a little doing, but we got it in there. Did get all the, the shifter lever here lined up with the key. So now we turn the key, and then it shifts. And the key goes backwards now. Now we gotta put the battery on and see if it works. Got to check the coil wire, make sure I didn't have to take it off last time to shut her off. Okay. Okay. Now that we got some buzz in it here. Got the flash is on. It started. It's running. Okay. Generally, the second time it wouldn't shut off. Okay. First time. First time it would. Second time it wouldn't. What was it doing? The ignition wouldn't shut off on a second try. No. When you started it up. Now it does, so. So it's working. Very good. Yep. Okay, well we got it in there. It seems to be all working just fine. The only problem with the one we bought at the Riley is there. Is that this little clip here was broke off it for some reason. It looked a little dirty like somebody was trying to put it in and it didn't work on their vehicle or something. So we're going to have to tape that in there. Because then these wires come unplugged pretty easy. So Grandpa wants to put a little grill of tape on them. 
I get that back in there now. It's easier with my other hand. I'm gonna tape that in there. Okay, we got the initial switch all in. Got everything all buttoned up, covers back on. You happy with it? Yes, very happy. Very good job. Thank you. Wasn't the most informing video, but we had to get it done, so you got to see how we did it. Might have not been the right way, but it was it worked for us. Okay, I'm gonna start it up now and see how we did. Hey, I'm very pleased. Very good job. Thank you. And shuts off good, heat comes out. Let's turn it just a little bit. Everything's working good. Beautiful. Yeah, I think you can see them green in there too. Well, that's good.